first of all shout out to my boy Noah telling me that it was Thursday like I know I know that it's Thursday okay you get the clips on Thursday make the video on Friday what's up what's going on everybody welcome back to the newest version of form Friday where we're gonna start bringing in guests okay only the most highly qualified experts in punting to help you guys get better at it because you know, what, I'm just such a generous guy I'm gonna use the people that I know to help me uh, help you guys starting off with the one the only my personal coach known for being behind the camera on every video always tell me what I'm doing right what I'm doing wrong my hair is messed up Shania <laughs> soon to be Shania Parks my fiance everybody give it up Using my government name. Oh, you want me to edit that out? <laughs> no, I didn't think. About, I didn't think about that. That's a good point. <laughs> I won't use. It. Okay, it's just gonna go beep for your middle name. But yeah, so she's gonna come in and help us today with Form Friday, Free Coaching Friday, all of the above. Uh, form Review Friday is what I think I've been calling it. So we're gonna stick with that and getting right into it. No time to waste here. Uh, we are gonna just hop right into the first video. Uh, I'm not sure if these are gonna be in order, but I already you know, told the people who are locked in that they're locked in. Okay, so first we have Sean Putt. He's been budding for about two years now. He wants to become more consistent. All right, all right, Coach Shania, tell me what your first thoughts are. Can you run it back one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like his starting stance was a little, you see, he doesn't look as prepared, you know, I'm not saying that he's not prepared, but like, you know, a lot of time, like watching you, you have like yeah. a lot more of like a lean, like you already have your, um, body angled forward whenever you're about to catch the ball and before it, you know, so I feel like a little bit of that could do with how You know That goes in yeah, his drop looks good. Like he holds the ball in pretty nice his foot though I don't know if you always have yours angled out. I don't know if you like have your uh, Leading foot straight so that way whenever you're, you're keeping, talking about like how it's planning like this. Yeah, all right So I feel like those are my two. Okay. All right. No, no, no. So there's definitely some good things in there. Some things that I agree with, some things I don't okay. necessarily agree with. First off, I think, you know, starting position, little little hit or miss. You're right. I am a little bit more angled forward. Uh, he's been punting for two years. I wouldn't worry about that aspect too much. I really like what you said about this right foot step, though. I thought that was just right on the money. This, you got to make that more direct because what this is doing, like, look at the way your knee is angled. It pulls your hips open right and then now boom you're closing your hips to the ball instead of just having a nice linear swing you might also do field goals that looks like the first step of a field goal kicker so that's uh definitely something that we should be looking at to address and then one thing i've got to disagree on though or we had like a maybe like yeah okay a little bit and then a yes now i gotta go with the no i actually don't i think the drop could use a little bit more work um so you see i've like it's really nose down here and right here you're kind of tossing it you know how like i just drop he kind of like lifts and pushes a little bit too much there. So it's going to just cause some consistency issues. I'd work on getting your drop up a little bit more. You're a little around hip height with a nose down. Um, I would go a little bit higher. I don't hate the nose being down. And then maybe uh, it's hard to tell from right here, but it looks like you're holding it outside and trying to swing across your body because it looks like this punt's supposed to be going a little bit directional right, if anything. And we're, we're getting it back on the opposite side of the uprights. Not a bad hit though. Not a bad hit. How would you rate the ball overall? Um, I would give it, uh, for him to be doing it for about two years, I'd give him a good 7 out of 10. All right, you heard her here first, folks, and ignore the loud water thing in the background, but a 7 out of 10. Pretty solid rating for her first time on the on the channel. Next, we've got, this guy's a a, a Discord warrior, so he's always in, always in the Discord. Uh, shout out to the boy, Traws. Um, so problems are cocking his leg back slash opening up his hips, trying to stay less stacked, pointing his toe more, keeping the ball in line, uh, and just trying to be more of a consistent punter and trying to find whatever problems there are. So we're just kind of general diagnostics here. He said he feels like the check engine light and every other light is on. And, uh, you know, it's time for a little tune up, a little oil change. So let's see what we got going on here. All right. Give me your thoughts. Okay. I like, so I'll do pros and cons. I like his stepping like you know he does the i guess you call it the linear step where he's what is that his leading foot yeah it you know he keeps it straight and in line so that's pretty nice i think his drop is a little too high because he has it like like pretty much you see like where his shoulders at yeah, yeah and i feel like that's a little too high maybe it should be in like midsection um you know above the hips but other than that 
that's pretty much what I can tell. Okay, so to summarize, drops drops a little high. So steps are good, drops are a little high though. Um, Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and and maybe um, the way he falls through with the ball, like I feel like his top half it's a little bit up, and then after, like he crunches it a little too late. But other than that, I, I think I'm gonna stick with stick with my answers. Okay, there's a lot. Yeah, pretty much very very close to what I'd be saying here. Um, so first off, his yeah his uh, his first step, <laughs> you know, pretty good. His steps are, are pretty nice. I think you're planting a little bit too like straight up and down. Try to get that plant more out in front of you. So like you see how you're pushing your whole body into this ball here. And you like you get really tall, you get really open right here, and then it causes you to crunch as you swing. So you kind of want to almost stay more closed. I'd say keep your shoulders over it from your first to second step more. And then uh, yeah, Shania was spot on with the drop. I think it's a little bit too high, but I think it's also coming from your compensating because you want to drop. Like look, I see fingers coming off the ball, and your foot's barely past your plant foot's barely past your right leg. So it's just compensating. You could probably like for consistency's sake you want to lower it and hold on to it more probably get it to about mm, belly button height maybe your floating ribs area so about here is here is probably where you want it max height and you're like starting a good three to four inches above that aside from that though that drop is just falling beautifully yes yeah, so, but uh flipping your hips more from the first second step like staying more compact from here to here and then bursting open, I'm actually dropping a video on the second channel about that exact thing right now. But like you're trying to, you're trying to like burst open and open back up with it. There's a lot, of, you're doing a lot of things right, man. So I'm gonna just kind of feed you some concepts, which is stay more compressed from here to here. So that way you don't get open and then, and then close. And then just think about being compressed and then plant and then try to open up instead of getting really open and then trying to aggressively close. Feed on that, but yeah, good stuff. Uh, how would you rate, we can't really see this ball there. If you had to see, imagine the ball, how would you rate it? Um, I feel like I would give him, I'm gonna say I'll give him a 7.6 because I, I still feel like all things considered, I feel like, um, you know, where the ball hit on his foot, it hit at a decent enough spot, maybe. I mean, the ball is a little, a, Kind of turned over a little bit but um other than that i, I feel like you know it it probably went decently so i give it a seven and a half i would agree i would agree pretty pretty good okay next we got nick dal fey del fow okay okay so you've been punting for about a year or so i just want to figure out where i should place my drop higher lower left or right or uh, I know that I take my steps right, but I always get more hang time with that maneuver, so it doesn't really want us to look at the steps. And then, yeah, looking more at drop here. So let's, yeah, I would say in the future, if you guys want to submit drop related questions, give us a front view. Front view is really good. We'll have a good time from the front trying to uh, address it. But I'll let you. I'll let you hit this first. Where do you? How do you feel about his drop? I feel like, as far as like you know, where he held the ball was good. But I feel like by the time he released the ball, he started bringing his arm down, kind of still with the ball in his hand, and then he dropped it. So that part, maybe I don't know if I'm looking at. You see, like right there, like he had it up high enough, but then he dropped it towards his hip. So I feel like that's where. So he may need to, you know, where he's starting out holding it. Keep mm. it there and then like and drop the ball from that height. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm not really seeing the same thing there, admittedly. It never hurts just to take more drops. Your drop height, I mean, it looks like you're getting a pretty decent ball. I would say your drop timing is also pretty good. If you're having problems with like consistency or hang time, it's just gonna be coming from your swing path here. So like the walk right, swing left thing, you can hit a pretty decent ball. I would say it's just that's gonna be something you have to get comfortable with if that's your style and you want to stick with you know like walk it out to the right and swing and left uh more power to you not not my go-to choice i think you should dabble in learning how to you know walk and swing a little bit straighter because it's always in the early stages from any coach i mean it's gonna be me it could be me it could be whoever they're gonna try to aim for more linear swing because it's gonna improve overall consistency and then once you sort of develop into a you know older more mature punter you can throw this style of punt back in your bag i hit the hook punt which is similar to this where i sort of walk out to my right and swing to my left eye you know and then that ball come you know swings back across my body like so but yeah i mean the drop height honestly looks good everything on your drop side looks good 
So eventually you do want to learn, depending on how far you want to take this, how to dabble into the the straight uh, straight swings. I'm just going to go ahead and, and put that in your ear. If this is you know how you're making your money right now, I don't hate it. It's just one of those things where over the longevity of your career, it's something you should at least try to to dive into here and there. Drop looks good though. How would you rate the drop and the ball? I mean, okay, so let me let me just add this in there. Whenever I was first looking at it, I was like, it looks fine. But then I was like, well, maybe there's something wrong. So I was trying to dissect. <laughs> oh, but, you're trying, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I thought it looked, I really thought it looked fine, but I was like, I guess no one's supposed to be fine. <laughs> no, people, sometimes people will be fine, so. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I'll give a, I'll give him a good eight out of 10. Yeah, eight's very solid. Is that the highest score so far? Yeah, that is. Wow, look at that. Okay, first year punting, looking for overall advice. So first of all, if you want to get a good pair of overalls, I would say the number one place you can buy overalls from is probably like Duluth. I heard they have some good over... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, anyway, so no, we're looking for overall punting advice. This is your first year punting. I'm saying that the way I'm saying it because there's honestly like a lot going right right here. But I'll have my co-host. Give, give me your thoughts. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like it was going pretty good. Especially, like from this angle, is you know, it's still kind of hard to tell from the backside. But everything was going good. I, I mean, maybe towards the end, he could work on falling through with the ball. Because I feel like he kind of gets a little stiffed a little bit whenever, like after he kicks the ball and it goes up like he. Like right there. Yeah. But other than that, I feel like everything else was, was pretty good. His drop and how he held the ball and got himself kind of started up was good. And But it's just, it's just the ending for me, I guess. That's, that's my two cents. I don't know. I uh, yeah, I gotta agree with a lot of stuff as she just said right there. Everything looks really good. It's kind of, uh, similar problems to the the first guy today. Look at that right foot, right, really wide, and then your hips kind of waggle across back to the left. Big thing for you, man, is like just kind of work on that footwork. I would say your best bet narrow up those feet a little bit there. That's gonna help you step straighter instead of feeling like you're stepping so far out. Cause look at how your first your first step's gonna kind of come in and then back out. So you're probably thinking about going here, like right down the uprights. And when you try to like take a step and your immediate thing is like rocking inside, boom, you're gonna step outside as like a way to comp compensate for that. So uh, trying to step like a little bit straighter, all your, your mechanics and your fundamentals actually look super solid, especially for a year, especially for a year. But yeah, just like this whole motion right here with everything coming up through the ball is just it's gorgeous i could watch that all day that's really good stuff i mean stay on your current path whoever your coach is right now keep working with him he's doing some great stuff and then yeah eventually like you'll just want to work on the last little thing is like staying further behind your plant right here it'll give you more leverage to get up through the ball and like she said it'll, it'll help you kind of get that yeah like a little bit more fluid and a little bit more up through it how do you rate this ball um for it being his first year he might get the highest one so far at 8.2 he did I, I think that was pretty good like all things considered he really got up through the ball his you know other than his foot placement he you know a lot of like you said his steps in the beginning and everything like that looked really really good so it translated very nicely i agree i didn't even see this <laughs> This guy. Shout out to my boy, McRobert. He said, I've been kicking for four months. How is this look? What are your thoughts? This is a 526. Ain't no way. <laughs> he has not been kicking <laughs> for four months. Okay, no, this was the last one. Okay, three years and we're looking for improved hang time. Well, I'll let you get, have your thoughts. Okay. He almost has like a kickoff type kick whenever he goes through with the ball you see how he does like the little the leap for it yeah. yeah um so maybe that could have something to do with it and yeah I, I feel like that probably speaks a little bit more into why he may be having a hang time difficulty because he's kind of still Shit. having the mindset between <laughs> having like the mindset of like trying to differentiate you know not adding certain things that you do when you're kicking to when you're punting. So I feel like just the ending of that kind of can do a lot with how he kicked the ball. Other than that, I don't really know what else. I feel like there is something else, but I, I'm not too sure. I'll take it over from there. Yeah, I mean, it part of it does come with a kickoff thing. So like, like if you're kicking on a line, make sure that you're staying down this line. Watch yourself kind of walk over to the right. And next thing you know, you're planting across this line. And even though your swing feels straight-ish, right? Look at where you're, you're ending up with your body. So now instead of sending, like if you want hang time, the big thing is getting your momentum to go 
this way, up and down. And you're like getting really wide and open here and then crunching everything down across your body to the left. You're gonna find yourself having like a pretty hard hang time cap doing that. So yeah, the number one thing I'd say is like, step it a little bit straighter, focus on getting your hips more beneath this ball, right? Like really stay behind this plant foot so that way you can drive everything up through the ball to get a you know to get those bigger hang times uh watch some guys from the side watch some side angle views of just like how guys body position looks right before they punt and that'll and then compare it to your own take some more side profile views if you're looking for hang time so that way you can see how your body angle compares but yeah so like right now it's just yeah you're, you're coming a little bit right planting and then trying to like close your hips to the ball really aggressively giving you that ki that kickoff like swing and then yeah that's going to give you problems with hang time so focus on more planting straight using your plant to drive your entire body up through the ball and then your swing is just secondary to that and it just like let it follow through up to your right eye and you'll be surprised you will be surprised how are we rating this one i would have to give this one probably a seven body positioning was a little bit kind of you know it could use a little Agreed. Thank you guys for coming to another edition of Form Friday. I'll look forward to seeing everybody again next week with a different co-host. Not that she was bad. She did great. But we're going to cycle them through. So as always, have an amazing day.